The Department of Public Health and Human Services is pleased to bring you Aging Horizons. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, Fraud, Legal Issues, Veterans Benefits and Caregiving. Aging Horizons is a program dedicated to inform and prepare Montanans on these timely issues, making a difference to you and your loved ones. Here now is today's program host. Hi folks and welcome to Aging Horizons. On today's show we'll be talking about Medicare. Actually, Medicare and you for 2024. We'll be talking about what's new in this year and we'll also be talking about if you have an Advantage plan, some people might be able to reevaluate the plan that they're on and decide to get another plan or to go back to original Medicare. Plus so much more. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. Can you say ombudsman? Orm bidsman. Um, ben Benson? Uma Doodlesman? Fortunately, you don't have to say it right to get the help of a long-term care ombudsman. If you or a loved one reside in assisted living or long-term care, an ombudsman can help resolve any issue. And these services are completely free and confidential. Now, why don't you try that again? Ombudsman! Did you just text me? I didn't want to disturb you if you were sleeping. Sleeping? I'm sitting right next to you, silly. There you are. Hey, I found a couple of Medicare helping programs online that I think we ought to look into. Hmm. It says if we qualify, we can get help paying for our prescription drugs. Oh, and there's a program that can help pay our Part B premium. To learn more about extra help and Medicare savings programs, call your local SHIP counselor today. Maybe I better text him. Here in Montana, we love our outdoor activities. Unfortunately, few of them are risk-free. Indeed, Montana is second in the nation per capita in head injuries that can destroy the lives of people we love. That's why you should insist your family always wear protective helmets. But you can do even more. When you fill out your vehicle registration this year, circle the Y and donate a dollar to support traumatic brain injury prevention and education. Now that's using the old noggin. You've probably seen some big-name celebrities on your TV lately talking about all the Medicare benefits you're missing out on. But the insurance companies who are paying for these ads may be pushing benefits not available in Montana. Fortunately, help is available from a friendly state health insurance assistance program counselor who can help you sort it all out. It's free, and we screen everyone for eligibility regardless of your zip code. It's Montanans helping Montanans. Call today. Hi folks and welcome to Aging Horizons, brought to you by the Department of Public Health and Human Services. I'm your host, Brian Lamore. We're, well, we're into a new year for Medicare. And actually, you know, we've all had our Medicare in You uh, book that we've had since about October that explains a lot about Medicare. But we're in a particular period right now in which you can evaluate if you're on an Advantage plan, is that plan meeting your needs? Uh, for some people, they can reevaluate. But we're also in a period when if you didn't sign up for Medicare at all during last year, you can up until a certain date. So, of course, we've got a wonderful expert on this. We have Janice Stellman. You're the SHIP director for the state of Montana. Welcome to your show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start at the top. You know, we always do this. Let's define what Medicare is. There's A, B, C, Ds of Medicare. Tell us what those are. All right. So there's traditional Medicare. Traditional Medicare is for people that are 65 and older or who have been disabled for two years, according to Social Security. Mm. Um, it is a federal health insurance program that is available to seniors and those people with disabilities. So traditional model of Medicare is you have Medicare Part A, which is your hospital insurance. Most people don't pay a premium for that because you've worked 10 years or 40 work quarters. Yeah. Um, there are some people that do have to pay for that and it can be quite expensive. I think it's $500 a month if you don't get it free. Uh, the second one is Medicare Part B and that's your hospital coverage. Uh, or not your hospital coverage, your doctor coverage and your outpatient hospital coverage right. and your durable medical equipment. So that is what you pay every month out of your, um, every month, it's, I think it's 174.90 this year. Mm -hmm. um, if I remember, it's right around there somewhere. I can remember yeah. the uh, particulars. Exactly. But um, so that comes out of people's social security checks every every month. month usually or they pay it directly and that pays for doctors and medical and then there's a part d or the medicare prescription drug coverage and that's where people pick up a medicare approved um, prescription drug plan that helps pay with pay for their prescriptions mm -hmm. 
Also, those people that are on the traditional can also look at what's called Medigaps or Medicare supplements. And traditional Medicare, after you've met your deductibles and um, uh, it co-pays yeah. and, or deductibles, yeah. it's an 80-20 split. So Medicare pays 80 and the beneficiary pays 20. So those supplements or Medigaps are private plans that they can get into help pay that 20% that they're responsible for. Mm -hmm. And um, the best time to get into a Medigap or a Medicare supplement is when you first you first get your Part B. Uh -huh. So the first six months after signing up for Part B is what's called t your guarantee issue rights. So that means uh -huh. the company can't deny you or um, up your premium or whatever. Yeah. So it's the absolute best time to get into a Medicare supplement if you want. The other way to get your Medicare is through Medicare Advantage plans. Mm -hmm. Medicare Advantage plans are private companies like Humana, United Healthcare, Blue Cross Blue Shield, mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. And it's where Medicare gives these companies a pot of money and says, here, you, you administer their Medicare benefits. So mm -hmm. the beneficiary still has their Part A and Part B, but now they have Part C, yes. or it's called Part, sometimes referred to as Part C. And so, uh, this private company is going to administer their Part A, Part B, and their drug benefit, okay? Mm -hmm. So Medicare Advantage plans, most of them come with a drug, a drug plan, too. So, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, those companies will cover the, the Medicare expenses. So they have to cover everything traditional Medicare covers, but also sometimes they cover a little bit more, so like dental or vision or hearing, mm -hmm. which traditional Medicare doesn't cover. Yeah. And... Um, Sometimes they allow folks to get into, like, um, certain health health um, uh, clubs. What, yeah. Health club. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, I can't even think today. <laughs> health club um, membership classes. Yeah. There's some classes. Sometimes they have over-the-counter benefits that somebody could use, um, and then they also have what's called maximum out of pocket. So, depending on what plan they're in, it's usually right around 4400 to like 12000 depending if it's in-network or out-of-network. Yeah. And that would be the maximum you'd have to pay for that year. So if right. you went and had a surgery and it was $100,000, your maximum amount of pocket, whichever plan you're on, you would only be responsible for that amount. For that agreed upon amount. You choose yes. the plan yes. and get yes. your liability and your exposure. Uh, right. And that. another thing about Medicare Advantage, they usually work on networks. Mm -hmm. You're going to get the best um, deals when you go to network providers. So your doctor has to be a network. Your pharmacy has to be a network. Your hospital that you use has to be a network. So. Yeah. Um, and those are the two ways to get your Medicare. Okay, that's great. Well, now, we were talking about how um, you have a certain time period in this year, 2024, if you did not sign up for Medicare during 2023. What's that window, and who does it apply to? Okay, so that's called the general enrollment period, mm -hmm. and that is every year from January 1st to March 31st. So if you didn't sign up for Medicare when you were first eligible to do it, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity January through March of every year to sign up. So if you sign up in January, it'll start in February. If you sign up in February, <laughs> it'll start in uh, March. If you sign up in March, it'll start in April. Um, but if you miss that, you won't be able to sign up until the next, the next general enrollment period unless you meet some other circumstance. So, mm -hmm. And there are some penalties with that. I believe you have three months prior to your birthday, your birthday month, and three months after, right, to sign up? Um, when in the initial enrollment period, you have, yeah. it's a seven-month window, so three months before the month of your 65th birthday, the month of your 65th birthday, or three months after. Mm -hmm. If you don't sign up when you're first eligible and you don't have other um, employer uh, insurance or other creditable insurance, you're going to get a penalty, and it's a 10% month um, penalty that you didn't get into Medicare yeah. when you could have. You so, could have so. Yep. so it's okay. a good idea to get in when you're first eligible. <laughs> um, however, if you had creditable coverage, you won't get penalized. Won't be penalized. Well, we've quickly drawn to a close on our first segment. we got so much more information for 2024 for you, so stay tuned. Elder abuse is a growing problem, and it's happening right here in our Montana communities. 
at least 1 in 10 older adults are victims of physical or emotional abuse, financial exploitation, or neglect. To get help or report elder abuse, call your local area agency on aging or Adult Protective Services at 1-844-277-9300. Every 65 seconds, someone is affected with Alzheimer's or other dementias. Many become isolated at a time when help is most needed. If you or someone you love is affected, help is available, both for people with memory loss and their caregivers. Memory loss can feel frightening, but you are not alone. Call the free 24-7 Alzheimer's Association helpline, 800-272-3900, for guidance and support. You mean I can get help paying my prescription drug premiums? Let me get this straight. I could be eligible for help with my family's prescription premiums, even though I own my own home? And our assets won't be counted. If you're a Montana resident enrolled in the Medicare Prescription Drug Program, you could be eligible for help paying your premiums. Call or visit the Big Sky RX website today to find out, even if you think you're over income. What do you know about that? I'm eligible. When I found out it was diabetes, my first thought was, Barb, you need help. You have to take con control of this. There is help. My doctor gave me a phone number. I called and signed up with a diabetes educator. There is help. I have to put blinders on when I walk past the bakery counter. I can feel my blood sugar go up. You succeed a little at a time. If you have diabetes, help is available. You do not have to do it alone. Ask your doctor about diabetes education or visit Montana211.org. Welcome back to Aging Horizons. I'm your host, Brian Lamore, and we're talking about Medicare, Medicare and you, particularly about October, you received this Medicare handbook, which basically explains everything. But we have a network out there that can help you with any questions you might have about Medicare. And of course, we've got the top person for Medicare from the state. We have Janet Stelman, you're the Medicaid uh, director for Medicare. Medicare director for Montana. And when we left the last segment, we we're talking about special enrollment periods and one, another one ends March 31st. We didn't talk about it at all. Tell us more about right. that one. So we just got done talking about the general enrollment period, which happens every year for people that didn't get into Medicare when they were first eligible for. Mm -hmm. What's going on right now is actually back backtracking a little bit to October through December, we had what was called the annual or open enrollment season mm -hmm. where you could um, switch your Medicare Advantage plans, you could switch your drug plans, you could switch to Medicare Advantage plan, you could switch from Medicare Advantage plans, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So if you, for some reason, maybe switched during that time or you didn't get switched during that time and you were in a Medicare Advantage plan right now, um, you have another opportunity from January 1st through March 31st. It's called the Medicare Advantage Open Enrollment. So you can evaluate the Medicare Advantage plan that you're in mm -hmm. and look and see if there's a better Medicare Advantage plan for you or one that you might like better. The other thing you can do is you can say you're done with, you, you decided you don't like the Medicare Advantage coverage and you want to go back to Original Medicare. Mm -hmm. You can go back to Original Medicare and pick up a prescription drug plan with um, the original Medicare. So, okay. and, and original Medicare is Medicare A, a and B. B. Yep. And then the D is the drug plan. Yep. And you can choose another yep. D plan. Okay. So, reach out to a ship counselor. We have them all over the state, mm -hmm. and they can help you do that. Just um, call quick the number appointment on the usually. Yep. Call, call the, the number, number on the screen. screen. Yep. <laughs> Operators are standing by. Yep. And I'd I like to talk a little bit more about the individuals throughout the state. Uh, they're Medicare professionals. If they have a question that they can't answer, they'll call you. Mm -hmm. uh, what's important is they don't have anything on the shelf to sell you. You And you as an individual make all the decisions, but they answer your questions. Right. We are, ship counselors are um, unbiased. We're mm -hmm. confidential. We don't have anything to sell you. Mm -hmm. We're just advocates for Medicare beneficiaries and um, <laughs> hoping to help them get into the best plan for them. So, mm -hmm. And there'll be questions along the way. And you wonder who to talk to? You call, call your, your ship, ship counselor. Person. And they are, ship counselors cover, cover every county in Montana. They may not live in your county, mm -hmm. but they cover your county. So. And especially during the pandemic, we've got really good about doing phone interviews and <laughs> Zoom meetings if that's what you need. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so they're a great resource. They're free. 
confidential, unbiased, so give them a call. Okay. And you know, one thing that the state is going through right now is Medicaid unwinding, and some of our Medicare eligible or Medicare individuals can possibly be a part of the unwinding. What is the unwinding and how does that impact Medicare individuals? Right, so the unwinding is talking about um, Medicaid and the, uh, um, during the pandemic, people that were on Medicaid um, got to keep their Medicaid through the, the uh, pandemic period pandemic. of the pandemic. Uh -huh. And so when the pandemic ended, uh, I think that was in March or in May of this year, mm -hmm. they, the federal said, hey, the pandemic's over. Um, so then they started the unwinding, the Medicaid unwinding. So mm -hmm. there was some people that turned 65 and became eligible for Medicare during that time. And there was also other people that become eligible during Medicare that time. But since they were um, in that pandemic and the Medicaid couldn't close, mm -hmm. then you know their Medicare benefits may not have started or now they're losing their Medicare because now, the, or Medicaid, Medicaid now that they're yeah. eligible for Medicare. Yeah. And so that process, um, I think is about the, un, it's called the unwinding and everybody should have got, that was on Medicaid, should have got a packet um, over the last year or since March or May mm -hmm. or June, I think it was. Um, and hopefully they return that to be evaluated for um, continued Medicaid assistance, but also um, they should have been looking at Medicare savings programs, which we're gonna talk about in the next segment, mm -hmm. but it's a program to pay your Medicare premiums. So that's mm -hmm. going on and that may be kind of scary to some people because the Medicaid they had before age 65, if they're still eligible for Medicaid, it's gonna look a little bit different. And Medicaid used to pay for the prescriptions, now Medicare has to pay for the prescriptions. So mm -hmm. that's kind of a change. Um, but there's helping programs for those low-income individuals, so mm -hmm. call a ship counselor and yeah. we can help you. When you say and there, there's help for them and with programs, but the ship people can help you because, well, we confuse Medicare and Medicaid. We talk about it all the yeah. time. Yeah, so. yeah. And then you talk about eligibility, what am I on, how is it changing? Mm -hmm. We have people that can help out because right. it is confusing. You don't have to figure it out yourself. Right. So they make the call to the 800 number or maybe they check out the website What's going to initially happen when they make that call? Uh, who do they talk to and uh, is their call redirected and what information do they need? Um, if they call that 800 number that's on the screen, it should direct them, should, mm -hmm. direct them to their local area agency on aging. However, if they have an out-of-state cell phone, it's probably going to end up at, at, in my phone line. Yeah. Um, but I will probably, if it's something I can handle quickly, I'll probably handle it. But if not, I will refer you to somebody local in your community that you can um, develop a relationship with and meet in person and sit down in their office. So, um, so that's what would happen if you do, you know, if you call and get a hold of the Area Agency on Aging, you ask for a SHIP counselor mm -hmm. and they, you know, you can just talk to them about what's going on. They can make an appointment with you or whatever and um, help you through whatever it is you're having problems with your Medicare That's or have great. questions about. Well, we're drawn to a quick close on this second segment, but it's also important if you have a loved one, maybe a child, nephew that uh, has knowledge in this background, and if you authorize it, they can help you out with this too, because sometimes it takes another set of eyes. And we'll talk about that and so much more in our next segment. Stay tuned. Respite care is amazing. If you are capable of doing it, the rewards are beyond measure. Stephanie Young, respite care provider, on the unexpected benefits of helping people in need. Being a respite care provider is an amazing experience. It's something that what you give, you get back a hundredfold. You receive so much more than you could ever imagine. To find out how to change lives, including your own, go to respite.mt.gov. 
I think the most pleasant surprise when we turned 65 and signed up for Medicare Part B was finding out about our Welcome to Medicare preventive visit. It was free, and it gave us the opportunity to visit with our doctors and establish a plan for our health going forward. They reviewed our medical history, measured our height, weight, blood pressure, and counseled us on other risk factors. To learn more about Medicare's free or low-cost preventive and wellness benefits, call your local SHIP counselor at 800-551-3191. I mentioned it's free, right? Twice. This is Bill. He just received his new Medicare card and is following some simple rules to protect himself from fraud. He knows to never give out his Medicare, Social Security, or bank number over the phone. And this is Nancy. She knows that to detect any problems, she always reads her Medicare Summary Notice or Medicare Advantage EOB to make sure the billing is correct. Both Bill and Nancy know that anything suspicious can be reported to Montana SMP at 1-800-551-3191. I've been shooting since I was young. It's something I've always enjoyed. I wasn't feeling like myself, but my friend noticed. He asked if he could hold onto my guns temporarily. At first, I was a little shocked. But then I agreed. I think he saved my life that day. Welcome back to Aging Horizons. I'm your host, Brian Lamore, and we're continuing our discussion about Medicare. In this segment, we'll be talking about some particular programs that are available to help certain individuals pay premiums or to assist with their, their drug um, uh, needs, uh, prescription drug needs. <laughs> we join us is Janet Stellman. You're the director of the SHIP program for the state of Montana. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the helping programs. It's pretty nice that these programs are there to help you. <laughs> yes, I love talking about the helping mm -hmm. programs. So um, when our SHIP counselors go through training, um, it's emphasized that every time somebody comes in your office or you're talking to somebody, please evaluate or screen them for these programs because they're great. Mm -hmm. So the first one I like to talk about is Low Income Subsidy or LIS. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's known as Extra Help. It is, you apply for it through the Social Security Administration and it helps you with your Part D costs. Mm -hmm. Which is drugs. Yes, your drugs. So it says, they say that um, somebody eligible for that program gets a saving of about $5,000 per year. <laughs> but a SHIP counselor's having seen people's drug costs and some of these drugs that people are on, it can be in the hundreds of thousands <laughs> we've seen. Ooh. So it can be a big, huge difference whether somebody's gonna be able to take a medication or not. Yeah. Um, so that program will uh, make it so you don't have a deductible for your Part D plan. Um, you won't, your co-payments will any be will be anywhere from a dollar to 11, I think it is, mm -hmm. and on covered drugs. And um, you won't fall into what was ne you, what was previous called the donut hole or the coverage gap, because yeah. technically that's not really there, but um, anymore it's just that the, sometimes the year 25% during that period is based on a different um, calculation yeah. of uh, uh -huh. retail cost of drugs so you might pay, pay higher and then when you get to the other side of the um, out of the coverage gap or what was formerly known as the coverage gap or the donut hole um, it goes into catastrophic coverage and you pay zero percent for your prescriptions at that point okay. so it can be a big help for people and it's just a wonderful program so uh -huh. every we you know that we really emphasize that to try and sc make sure that we screen everybody that comes through our door to make see if they're eligible because that can be such a yeah. great program the other one I like to uh, another one I like to talk about is the Medicare Savings Program or MSPs you may have heard them them as Quimby Slimby or QI uh -huh. these are administered even though they're a Medicare program they're administered through the Medicaid office around the state. So what it does, if you're eligible, it will pay um, it will pay mainly your Part B premium, so that $174.90 or whatever a month. Mm -hmm. And so that's $174.90 that you're getting back on your check, yeah. your Social Security check. Um, for the real low income people that, and may, if they had a Part A premium, that remember I said that was like $500 a month. Mm -hmm. um, if they qualify for uh, the Medicare Savings Program called Quimby, which is for the lowest income folks, um, they could get that Part A premium covered too. Oh. And if they're covered, if they're eligible for Quimby, it will act as like a supplement to Medicare and 
what Medicare doesn't cover, their Q QMB will pick up. Uh -huh. So that's the only program that does that. But the other, there's three different programs in the Medicare Savings Program. Quimby is like the Cadillac model. Yeah. The other two just pay the Medicare premium. So, mm -hmm. which is still a big, great big help for people on limited <laughs> income. So, and you know, when you, you describe these, I, I'm thinking of the viewer uh, like me, are thinking, oh man, how do I even start to understand these? And each program has different requirements mm -hmm. and everything. And it's like. You don't have to talk to your ship counselor. Right, right. They know it. They'll yep. talk to you, and they want you on the program. Yep. Uh, so they'll help you out. So the first thing they do is call up your ship counselor, yep. and you know start the ball rolling. Right. And there's no question too simple for them to answer. Right. And then the third program, um, well, another program is the Big Sky Rex program. Uh -huh. And when the Medicare drugs came into the prescription drug plans came into uh, law back in 2003 or um, under the Schweitzer administration, they each state needed a pharmaceutical assistance program. So Big Sky Rx was created. It was used with tobacco tax to fund. And it's for, it has a higher income level and it doesn't look at the resource limits or it has, doesn't look at resources. So you could own a $100,000 Jaguar or something, <laughs> you know, and still be eligible for that program if your income was below a certain amount. And what it does is it just helps pay up to like $38 of your Part D premium for your prescription drugs. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a program that's developed for people that kind of fall through the cracks and don't always usually get it, you know, get assistance. And it, you know, this this program has a little bit higher guidelines, and so it can reach some of those pro those folks. And it is only $38, but. Thirty-eight dollars is thirty-eight dollars. That adds up for a lot of yep. people throughout the year, right? Each so, month. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, yeah, it's only thirty-eight dollars, mm -hmm. but it also helps with your costs. I mean, right. uh, drug costs. Right. So it can be much. And better. all three of these programs that I just talked about, if you're in them, you also get what's called a special enrollment. So if you're in a drug plan, a Medicare Advantage plan, um, you have the opportunity to switch if you don't like that drug plan or. Mm -hmm. Uh, Medicare Advantage plan because you're qualified for those programs, um, the f especially the first two. You could change every three months if you wanted. Yeah. Uh, Big Sky RX, you can change once a year. So, um, mm -hmm. if you're in a plan and you don't like it, and because you're on those helping programs, that's um, a way that you can get out of a pl that a plan you may not be happy with and get into another one. So, and a window to reevaluate, and the ship people right. can help you with that reevaluation. Yep. Also, yep. I keep plugging them. <laughs> They are a great resource. They're great people. Oh, yeah. They're great advocates, and uh -huh. they care about what they do and and who they're helping. So yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today and explaining Medicare for us. We really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, certainly. And for our viewers, you know, some of this might sound a little confusing. Uh, you can have a loved one, uh, a spouse, uh, maybe your children, or maybe a, a person you're in confidence with, to help you and assist to looking at all these different programs. We'd rather you call up and just wonder if you're eligible and not be eligible than not to a call at all because there's a good chance you might be and these can make a lot of difference in your monthly income and your health. For Aging Horizons, I'm Brian Lamore. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>